Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in the previous episode of Chat GPT series, we have seen that how we can use Chat GPT on our ESP32 board with the help of Chat GPT API. So in this today's episode, we are going to add one more feature to our project. Yes, that is now we can able to listen the responses from the Chat GPT as an audio output. Yes, so let's see how it works how are you i'm doing well thank you, you how about you isn't it interesting so in this episode we are also going to learn about the i2s audio amplifier uh, how it works with the sp32 pro plus we are going to learn about the google tts library yes using google tts library we can convert any text into the speech so that also we are going to learn it here so now without wasting some more time let's get started so for getting started for this particular video we needed these hardware components this esp32 port and uh, this i2s audio amplifier module and this speaker forum speaker so i will add the link for each items in the description box you can check it from there so we need to like connect all these hardware components by this connection diagram So guys, uh, now first we need to download the audio i2s library. So from this github page you can download the library. I will add this link into the description box and then you need to download for the zip file. And once the zip file will be downloaded, in my case I have already downloaded it. So you need to go to the Arduino ID and then you have to go to the sketch option, include library and add .zip library here. So let's try it once and in my case I have already installed the library so I will get an error. So in your case if you are able to install the library you can directly able to see it here. So I have already created one basic code to check uh, whether we can able to convert sample string into the speech or not using our hardware. So let's see let's try to upload this code into our esp32 port so in the meantime while code is uploading i will show you or explain you how this code works so first we need to like uh, add the pins here so which we have already showed in our hardware connection so then in the setup you need to first define the verb right and then here you need to define some wi-fi like fun functions like whether the wi-fi mode is in the station or it is in the ap mode so then you need to define with the uh, ssid and password and then the pin or then whatever the volume you want to set you can upload it here and then here you need to give the function with the connect to speech basically whatever the string you want to convert into the uh, speech that you need to give it here and whatever the language you have selected that you need to provide it here and then inside the void loop you just need to write this audio dot loop function and inside this you whatever the debug information you want to print inside our serial monitor that information you have to give it here so maybe like uh, while uploading i would press the boot button let's try to be upload it again so now the code is uploaded we will directly go to the serial monitor and let's see this is the speaker the hello world my name is akash nagpal so we are able to listen whatever the string we have provided it here we are able to like listen in our speaker model let's uh, try it again i will be going to reset the control the mpd decoder is hello world 
My name is Akash Nagpal. We have seen that how to convert any string into the speech using Google TT. So now let's uh, integrate our this code with our uh, chat GPT API code. So, so most of the part of the code is an integration of the I2S module code plus the previous chat GPT API episode code so if you haven't seen the previous episode of chat gpt so i would like to suggest you go watch this first i will be add the link for this in the description so here we just need to add a few more libraries so we need to include the arduino json library here because the response of the chat gpt is in the json format so we need to decode the json file and we need to extract the response from it so that's why we are going to use json so it will be very easy for us to get the response string and then that string will convert into the speech using our audio.h file code so basically ssid password we need to provide the chat gpt token also we need to provide and then temperature and the max token we need to define it here so what is temperature what is max token we already discussed in our previous episode so this is the same as our previous discussed code of i2s module so then later on just will directly this is the same as previous so this is our uh, whatever the question we need to ask that thing we need to give it from the serial monitor so that's why we need to like first ask the question and then if whenever the series will will be available we need to run this loop and then we need to ask a question and store into the question string so in this question string we need to remove the new line character on the next line character so that's why we have removed length we have used the substring option and we have removed the last character from it and then we have printed whatever the question we have asked it again and these are the code which we have discussed previously this is for the chat gpt api and these are the headers we did whichever we need to provide so previously we discussed these things with the help of postman tool right so now let's uh, integrate our this question with our this particular payload string so here you can find it so the questions we have the question string we have added it here and the temperature and the max token also we have added it here so whatever the payload we will get we will provide it with a post request so then whatever the request we will uh, provide and the response we will going to get it in the json format so the response will be storing it here and then we will be storing again into the json format and here you can find like uh, the answer will be is in our choices in the text part of our the json file so that's why we have extracted our answer directly from this particular doc which we have where we have used the arduino json built-in function to deserialize the payload and then we just need to remove some characters from the answers as well because we only needed the response string so that's why the substring 2 we have used it here so now we are storing it again in the answer so this we have used because we need to remove the again the same thing with, with, is with this also we need to remove the next line and the new line characters from the actual string that's why we have removed now we have again used this particular command for google tts right which we have discussed previously whatever the string response we will get it from the chat gpt we will provide it here and we will give it so this will directly go to the hardware and the speaker will we will get a some something from the response from the speaker so this is the same which we have used in the previous codes so now let's compile this and upload it to our asp32 board so uh, let's uh, try by asking a very simple question to it now we can see it here also it is connected to the network so let's try with how are you
I'm doing well. Thank you. you can, How about you? You can see it is uh, responding. We can see it here also the re response which will get it from the chat GPT. Now let's ask something else. I am a software engineer. Mm -hmm. You can see it is uh, responding it based upon the temperature value which we will have given. So we will change the temperature value with a more creative answer. Chat GPT will be given. So guys, this is the end of today's video. So in this today's video, we have learned about like how we can use the speaker module to get the data from the chat GPT. So in the first episode, we have already seen like how we can integrate the API of the chat GPT with the various p 32 Today we have seen like how we can use the, how we can utilize all the speaker for getting the data from the chat GPT. And for the third video, please comment on which the part you want me to like make. So I am guessing that we can create basically a two things. Either we can create independent project which will not be required any data input from the laptop or from the mobile phone i in place of that it will take uh, input from a microphone and then it will respond it accordingly from the speaker so basically we are we can create our own personal assistant or else we can uh, integrate a keyboard to pass the input to the sp32 board and that sp32 board will respond it from the speakerphone so do comment and let me know which part you want me to create and if you have liked this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and comment down your feedback in the suggestions for me till then bye bye i will be seeing you in the next episode